welcome back. It's been a while and today, November 29th, I am starting to film because um, I'm going to be doing Vlogfest this year. Not on a daily basis because I've done it before where you do the daily vlogging and us being all in quarantine at the moment. Um, I don't think I have enough content to fill a daily vlog format. So instead what I'm going to do is every Saturday or Sunday, I haven't decided yet, post a video of everything that I was up to this week. And in my usual fashion, I have made some overly ambitious uh, Christmas knitting plans. So that's gonna be resulting in a lot of knitting and making this month, as well as I'm gonna have some advent calendar goodies. So you'll see my, my everyday what I'm gonna get in my David's Tea calendar. Um, but more excitingly is what I'm gonna be knitting this month leading up to December 24th. So like I mentioned, overly ambitious knitting plans. So basically I have planned for four sweaters. I don't think I'm gonna make be able to finish all four, perhaps three. I think the fourth is a stretch goal. So um, last year I made the something something I'll put a photo of it and it has these like hollies on the side so that's my first Christmas sweater I'm thinking I could have a week's worth of Christmas sweaters leading up to uh, Christmas Day so um, I have the lodge it's like Betty something lodge sweater so that's my first one and now I gotta make the other four so for I'm currently working on I'm sort of a couple like I started this last week. It is out of a slantic wool and it's gonna be the Skoga Fiel. It's not a Christmas sweater per se, but it does, it's like a green sweater that sort of has a gradient of trees that like kind of said Christmas vibes to me. So that's the first project that I'm gonna be, I'm currently working on. I'm actually, I don't know if it's realistic. I have the two sleeves done and I'm, I'm working on the body now. I'm kind of thinking I could finish it by today if I like stayed up real late. I don't think that's gonna happen though. So probably tomorrow or the day after, I'll have my first Christmas sweater done. Um, I have some yarn coming from Nipix. So I'm going to do, honestly, I'm just gonna put a photo, a reference photo up because I can't remember the name of any of these patterns, but this Christmas tree motif sweater, it's gonna be knit in white and held with mohair. And my sort of sneaky plan for it is to maybe string some lights through it. We'll see if that works out. But so I'm going to have this like lovely sort of mock turtleneck white Christmas tree sweater. That's number three of the Christmas, the week of Christmas sweaters that I'm planning. And then number four is the merriest jumper, which is a like kind of ubiquitous Norwegian sweater pattern. It's um, gonna be drop shoulder, like a sort of color work around the yoke and some like red contrast kind of on the seams there. Um, here's a photo. So those are my five, so four Christmas sweaters that I'm planning. Oh no, where am I? I have one more, which is this sweater designed by Susan Crawford. It's this like, vintage style uh, puff sleeve sweater. I don't know if I'm gonna get to that one to be honest with you because I think I'm gonna need to modify that pattern. Um, the other ones are fairly simple. This is a yoke sweater so the only modification I'm doing on it is moving some stitches from the back to the front so that there's more room for my bust and less excess fabric on the back. Um, so there's not a lot of adjustments on this one. Um, the Marius is just a drop shoulder, so I think I'm just gonna do it sort of oversized so that you don't really, ha I don't won't have to deal with the fit issues so much. Um, and then the, I might have to do some adjustments on the the white Christmas tree one as well. I'll have to. I haven't looked at the pattern exactly yet, but maybe I have to play around with the bust shaping. But the one that I'm most worried about is that is this Susan Crawford um, puff sleeve sweater because looking at the shoulder to shoulder measurements, it's saying that the size that I need for bust wise would be um, 18 inches across the shoulders and my shoulders are only 15 inches. So I might have to do some 
playing around with grading so that's why I'm not sure I can finish that one so that is the Christmas sweater plans I also have some advent calendar Christmas socks that I'm gonna be working on I'm not gonna show you now because I'm gonna wait until December 1st to open them but that should be exciting I've already got a couple of pairs of Christmas socks on the go so this is another pair I finished recently I have a another pair that just needs the, the socks and heels and everything pull, put in because it's an afterthought everything sock so lots of Christmas knitting plans afoot and there might even be a little bit of sewing content I am hand sewing most of the stuff I'm making so it takes an excruciatingly long time of course to finish everything so I'm working on a pair of pants that it's kind of underneath a pile of other stuff so I'll show you when I get to them but I'm excited for the month of December it's going to be a big crafting month so I hope you're excited as well <laughs> are, you, are you like taking a picture for a video <laughs> Yeah, trying to take a video, but I realized, like, that means I'm on the screen like this. <laughs> it's probably not the, the greatest angle. <laughs> Now the next day uh, I actually finished work at a pretty decent hour. Um, I started off a fairly demanding new job recently so it's kind of required a lot of overtime even from the jump but I am really enjoying it because I'm kind of do sort of nerdy data stuff which is my favorite. Um, but all of that is done. I've shut down my computer for the day and I'm about to start all my crafting and the phone is slowly falling over. So uh, I want to show you where I left off yesterday with my Skogafiel sweater. Uh, so I made it to finishing the body. Oh, and I ripped out all of the stitches off the needle. Um, so I got to joining the arms in the body and now I'm starting on the color work yoke. You'll see the beginning of the little tree motifs appearing. So I'm hoping that I can finish this sweater by tonight. Not really sure but it's 5.30 right now. What's that? What's going on there? Oh, okay. Well, I'll deal with that after. Um. Anyway, so, you know, we're kind of really fully in winter now, so usually by the time I finish work it is dark out and it has already been dark for like at least two hours already. We usually have the sunset around four o'clock, which means I don't really get a lot of chances to go outside to see the sun, but this window does seem to have some good sunlight, so I'm not like sitting in the dark all day, but I really need to probably make some time and go out for a walk at lunchtime. It's been a bit hectic lately so that hasn't really happened but I think I'm gonna make an effort to at least go out and get fresh air at least once a day and that'll probably make for more interesting content for you to watch rather than me popping on every night being like hello I didn't really move from this spot as usual because we're sitting here in my crafting room which in these COVID times has become also my work from home office. Um, it has not made for a very uh, uncluttered space because I'm basically doing everything on top of each other so like I have my desk set up here and then all my craft stuff is like everywhere and I sort of have to like in order to sort of switch over I would need to clean up every day I don't always have the energy to do so so now I just have fabric and yarn and my work stuff all on top of each other it's great we're super organized um but it is November 30th so it means tomorrow I get to crack open all of my advent calendars which I'm really excited about you may be wondering why I'm cooking in the dark and that's because my light bulb went out 
uh, my light bulb went out over there and I can't figure out how to get the, I don't know, lid down. So I've just been cooking by my, by my oven light here, not oven light. I'm really losing my words today, but for dinner tonight, I have some Thai basil beef over scallion rice. Uh, I totally forgot that I have a subscription to this, which you have to like go and skip every couple of weeks if you don't want the boxes to be delivered. And I totally forgot about this, but it was a really nice surprise because I forgot to buy groceries last week because right now um, I don't have a car. So usually I have to um, order ahead of time for groceries to be delivered to me. So I totally forgot to stock up and I kind of like this whole surprise food showing up thing because that was a great help. I don't know if anyone else uses this trick, but the way to get the perfect, the perfect, the perfect portion of rice to water is to stick your index finger and it shouldn't, it should be like the length of the the tip of your your fingers and you always get the right amount of rice to water. <laughs> First I have these three, which is this pile here, which is going to be my Marius. So I'm going to go with the classic dark blue as the main color. I'm going to use the red as the contrast on the seams and then the white for the, um, for the yoke. And then over here we have the, what are these, these um, mohairs which I'm gonna hold double with Will of the Andes in white. And that is going to be the main color for, well, there's only one color, for my uh, Christmas tree sweater. And I don't know if I showed you this earlier, but I also got some Jameson and Smith from Wabi Sabi here in Ottawa. And these, so the red is gonna be the main color the white is the contrast color that is going to be for the Susan Crawford, like, can't remember the name, vintage style reindeer sweater. So that's what I got. Oh, actually, I did get one more thing. This is from a different order that also arrived today. I decided to try out, I mentioned that I'm hand sewing everything. So I've decided to try out a leather thimble instead of the metal one because I realized after, while well, I was sewing for more than eight hours, so that could be a part of it, but after about eight hours, I found that like my skin started to be really irritated and like started to peel a little bit and it just doesn't breathe very well. So I thought I'd try the leather just cause I feel like it's more breathable. And I also actually did get a set of sock needles. So that'll work out for my um, advent calendar socks that I needed another set of sock needles to knit. I didn't realize they were gonna be this long. I think I may have misread the, <laughs> the information and I thought, and I wanted them to be a bit longer than the ones I currently use, but I think these are a little bit too long. Anyway, I wanted more bamboo needles because I have gotten metal knitting needles onto planes, but you never know because it's sort of at their discretion. So it's kind of easier to get through wooden needles. It, they don't look as threatening. They kind of look like chopsticks. So I wanted to get used to using some wooden needles in case we ever get out of our house and get to travel again. It'll be nice to be able to knit some socks on the plane now that I've become sort of more of a sock knitter. 
um, having made like five pairs of socks back to back. So that is the Knit Picks haul slash some, a thimble. <laughs> let it snow. It smells like very spiced. <laughs> kind of cinnamony but also kind of um, sweet and citrusy. So we'll see how it tastes. So I'm usually not a big fan of like fancy teas, like basically I've been making my way through three enormous boxes of red rose <laughs> black tea that I bought at the beginning of the pandemic um, because I usually drink two tea bags and it wouldn't be very economical if I drank that amount of David's tea, but um, you know what, we're gonna push ourselves out of our comfort zones this month. So today is gonna be a green tea with all sorts of crap in it. <laughs> well, I can definitely smell the cloves and the cinnamon. I heard wine connoisseurs chew their wines because you have like a secondary smell. So like from your nose, but also when you're um, like chewing, I don't remember the, the fancy word for it. When you're chewing, like some of the scent gets through, like goes up through the back of your throat to your nose. So part of your tasting is a smelling, which we all kind of knew, but that's why apparently you're supposed to chew your wines. Probably won't help me become any more of a knowledgeable person, but honestly, it just tastes like green tea that I've added extra stuff to. It's very yummy. It like has natural sweetness, so I probably won't add any sugar or anything to it, but yeah, it's uh, pretty good for the first day. Well, now I have to actually get to work, so I'll see you at the end of the day. Finally finished work. I think it was a really good day, but uh, it was a fairly bad anxiety day, I think. And, um, you know, I th to be honest, if I think back objectively, I actually accomplished quite a lot today, but... Having anxiety brain, I managed to convince myself that everybody thinks I'm dumb and is mad at me, which is objectively not true. And my manager, in fact, told me, wow, I've seen you grow so much even in the last three weeks. But even saying that aloud, it sounds foreign. Why am I like this? Well, I know why I'm like this, but <sighs> anyway. I did manage to finish on time. My manager said to get out of here because we're expecting some busy days ahead. So I'm going to take the extra few hours and hopefully finish my Skogafiel sweater today. Um, I didn't manage to finish it yesterday mainly because 
I kind of got wrapped up in thinking about my next project, which is going to be the, I don't remember what it's called, Yule? It's the sweater with a Christmas tree on it, or a regular tree that you can decorate to be a Christmas tree. And um, I was, so the original pattern has it as a set-in sleeve, which is very tightly fitted, but as soon as this yarn came, I started thinking that this would be very, very cute as like a bishop sleeve. And I feel like a bishop sleeve looks better with a drop shoulder. So I was thinking, and I had to figure, and I just basically got obsessive about figuring out whether or not I had enough yarn and, and started sort of designing a alternative pattern, which is going to be a drop shoulder with a bishop, like big, like bishop, like, so the bell is at the bottom or the puff is at the bottom. Um, and so it would be like a more relaxed fit uh, sweater, but then I would use the, the, the tree on top so that I could still like have it, you know, so it would basically be that sweater except I'm not going to use the pattern at all <laughs> except for the chart um I don't know yet because I really like don't want to spend this much mental energy like I said thinking about the pattern so I kind of want to just proceed with this the other option I was thinking was um it would be cute with a like a small puff sleeve which I saw a Nushka of a crimson stitchery do which was this sweater pattern but she did like a little puff sleeve on the cap and I think that's pretty cute too um my reservation with doing like the big bishop sleeves at the bottom is that um I don't know it's just that like the I the whole uh, body section is reverse stocking net so I was thinking like with the enormous sleeve it might be more noticeable the fact that the sleeves are knit and then the body is pearls but I don't know if that's actually because I looked at a bunch of photos of people wearing their finished projects and it doesn't really like isn't a very stark contrast so it might be me overthinking it <sighs> anyway I probably should actually finish my first sweater before I start thinking about the second one and it could be that I should just work on a different sweater while I figure out what to do with this kind of lovely white yarn combo we shall see oh my goodness I also forgot that today is the day I'm gonna unwrap my advent calendar sock yarn finally and so I have I bought two advent calendar sock um, yarns they're self striping socks both are I believe 48 stripe repeats so um, basically my plan is to make two pairs of like 24 stripe socks which is approximately how long my socks usually are plus um, like a mini skein for the heels, toes, and cuffs. So I need to knit four stripes on each of, not each, so I have to knit four stripes on one of the socks a day in order to get to two pairs of 48 stripe, you know. I can't explain the math right now. <laughs> I need to knit four stripes today. And then I'm going to have to decide whether or not I want to do the heels, toes, and cuffs all on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. It's probably very unlikely that I'll do it if I don't do it as I go. So that's a consideration. Um, yeah, let's unwrap it. Oh, Here it is all wound up. Um, I've changed my mind. I'm not going to do this as an afterthought everything sock. What I'm going to do instead is my regular short row heel because I realize I'm probably not going to feel like finishing these and I think it would be really nice to have them actually ready for Christmas or Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. So I'm instead going to 
just say every sock is going to be 24 stripes. So I'm going to use a contrast mini and do the, the toes and then I'm going to knit to my normal length for the foot, do the heel, and then knit until I have a total of 24 um, stripes and then uh, bound off with a cuff in the contrasting color and then I'll um, and I think this is meant to have 48 stripes in it so it should be exactly two socks and then I'll have another 50 grams left over I usually only use 25 like 23 grams per sock so actually I usually get two pairs of socks out of every um, skein of yarn so that can be a project for another time so let's get started <music> I don't like it. I'm so sorry. I know a lot of people love chai, but I don't like it. <laughs> It's too, like, there's a syrupy quality to this that reminds me, anyway, it reminds me a little bit of, like, like, Chinese medicine or, like, cough syrup. I just, I don't like it. I couldn't do it, so I went ahead and made myself a cup of black tea with some oat milk and sugar instead. Hello, friends. I, um didn't film really yesterday at all because I ended up working until like midnight but um, you know this morning has been a much easier pace so I'm just like wrapping up something so it's not as mm, like panic busy um, but it is time to try today's which I am much more enthusiastic about. So it's a black tea with cocoa and almond in it. So probably more than one almond. I don't know why I said almond instead of almonds. Um, and I'm wearing my Lawrenson sweater today because I'm trying to decide, this is what I'm thinking for, for that Christmas tree sweater is I could do these sleeves and I really like the way the shoulders fit on this. So. That's my, I'm considering just basically using this pattern and then putting the tree over top. But what I decided was to start not on that sweater while I have thinking time. So I'll show you what I cast on after I get back to my desk. It smells delicious. Mm. It's like, Definitely much lighter than it was yes than the one yesterday, the chai rooibos. But it has like a sweetness to it. I don't really taste the almonds very much, but uh, I'm a fan. So I decided to cast on instead of making a decision on the um, the Yule the Christmas tree sweater. Um, the Marius. So I'm doing it bottom up. It's going to be drop shoulder. I'm thinking I'll steek the armholes, but this yarn is not like my favorite yarn for steeking. It is non-superwash, 
but it's a little bit slipperier than like a like like a Rauma or a Jameson would be. But I think a crochet reinforcement should still be sufficient if I'm not like too rough with it. So that's that's the plan. So it's gonna be pretty boring stocking net until basically the armhole so it's kind of what I need right now because I feel like my brain doesn't have the space to really think um, I will keep you updated on how this goes good morning I um, didn't get any knitting done yesterday because I finished work at like eight o'clock and I was so exhausted I sat down in front of the TV and then started falling asleep so then I decided to call it a night and I feel much more refreshed than I have been for the last two weeks I think because that was probably the earliest I've slept in a while um, yeah I've had a problem staying up too late but then you know when you stay up too late you kind of hit a second wind and then your mind is kind of racing so it's hard to fall asleep so I definitely did need that early night yesterday. I feel much better. And today I have a, oh my God, look at how cute this is. A new mug for the advent tea. It's a little cat with a matching spoon. <laughs> well, I've switched out my regular mug. Basically I've been using the same mug for several months, but we're gonna use a more fun one. It has a a little cat spoon that goes with it. It's much more fancy than my white mug with a regular silver spoon. Um, just an update on the tea situation. I um, didn't film my reaction because I forgot to, but it was a North African mint green tea and I sipped it and was like Bleh because it tasted exactly like toothpaste like it was like slightly sweet and very minty and then I couldn't really stomach it so now it's been just replaced with my regular black tea with milk and sugar so that's what I'm drinking today <laughs> my plan is to be a potato for two days because it's been a week that's felt like a month long. <laughs> I probably worked like, I don't know, overtime at least one or two hours every day and then one day like six hours. So it's been a long week. Um, hopefully I'll get a lot of knitting done. I feel like it's going to be a mainly laying flat on my back sort of weekend. Um just gonna work on my Marius. <sighs> Today was a big day. Um, basically I had a presentation. It ended up being like only a minute long, but I was like shitting bricks, I guess is the only way to describe it. It was a presentation to like basically my boss's 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 boss. So, um, and in front of like 20 people so I was a little bit like Ugh! but I made it through completely blacked out I have no idea what I said but a few people did come and say that I did a good job so hopefully that means I did I'm still not feeling super confident it's like my third week at this job so um yeah I don't think I'll be able to finish the Marius sweater in like a week like my um my other what is the the Skogafil. I think it's probably gonna be sporadic at best my knitting speed as you know my work ramps up even more. But I'm still feeling optimistic. I feel like maybe okay, if I don't do the four four sweaters and two socks. I think it's still possible to do like two sweaters and one pair of socks. That might be like a more realistic goal. I like how I, um, in the course of one week's worth of vlogs, I have, um, 
greatly scaled back my ambitions, but I think this week was definitely the first week that I, like, maybe truly understood what I signed up for when I took on this job, which really I only started... Yeah, I only really started getting a lot of work this week. And the previous two weeks it was busy, but it was more about, like, learning and now I actually have like a workload so <sighs> I am scaling back a little bit and also like because my brain is just so full at the end of the day sometimes like yesterday night I just like came and laid on the couch and I couldn't even like I started knitting on my sock and I was just like no I can't do this <laughs> today so you know two sweaters and one pair of socks is not too bad for a one month's work, so I won't be disappointed if I only make it there. And honestly, even if I don't even make it, it'll be fine. This is a arbitrary goal that has no bearing on my life <laughs> other than it'll be nice to have these sweaters, so I think we'll be okay. Today on Cooking in the Dark, I'm not doing anything as fancy as the whatever last day I was cooking on video. Um, I'm just doing one of my favorite like easy to make meals when I'm not really feeling like cooking. It's the, almost the evening now on Saturday. Oops. Um, I just spent the whole day basically knitting on the body of my Marius. I'm probably a quarter of the way into the body length. Um, I don't know if I can finish it tonight, but I'm also trying to catch up on the advent calendar socks from the Cozy Knitter. I am going to need to get to 12 stripes by today in order to be up to speed. I'm currently at 5 stripes. I think it'll be doable because usually if I'm trying to finish a pair of socks I can knit like half a sock in a day um, or in like sort of like an evening like five or six hours. So that is what's in the deck. So basically my favorite easy to cook meal is um, cauliflower mixed with um, butter chicken sauce, but uh, I just get a pre-made one of these. Um, it's obviously more expensive than if I make it myself, but this is a low brain bandwidth kind of meal, which to be honest is most of the time, so. <laughs> I always add a bit of curry powder to the frozen cauliflower um, because the mix is really not very strong in flavor so I always like supplement basically all the ingredients a little bit so I would add a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, um, some paprika, etc. just to bring out the flavors a little bit more depending on how um, how much energy I feel like putting into this meal. Like, I understand this is probably like an abomination to see for anybody who actually knows how to cook proper Indian food, but this is more about speed and efficiency than authenticity. It is Saturday night, so I'm jumping on just to wrap up the video for this week um, because I gotta go and edit all of those <laughs> clips that I took together. But I have caught up now on my Cozy Knitter stock. So I have 12 stripes, and then I did the heel, which you'll notice is a little bit pointier because I need more room for my instep. So um, I cast on for 32 and then which makes that like, which is the smallest point, but the smallest point on this 
is um, 24. So you can see like it's much smaller and that fits my heel a lot better. Um, anywho, this is where I got to on my Marius. I feel like it's been a good week. I finished one sweater. Uh, I did a whole heck ton of work work. And I even got a little bit of sock knitting. So, And I drank a lot of tea. Oh, I forgot to mention. So today's advent calendar tea was a chocolate chili chai. Which I suspected I would not enjoy. So rather then waste it. I've decided I'm just going to skip it for the day and then I might make myself um, the hot chocolate that came with um, the other pair of Advent socks. I don't know if I ever mentioned it. The other pair of Advent socks I got was from um, Timber Yarn. It's 12 Days of Christmas. It's a gingerbread theme. Um, but I bought a few of the Christmas colors from them at the same time, so came with this hot chocolate. So since I was thinking, <sighs> chocolate chili chai, maybe I should just have a hot chocolate instead because part of my complaint about some of these teas from David's Tea is that it's all like lesser versions of what they promise to be essentially because I'm like, okay, but why would I have a chocolate tea when I could just have a hot chocolate? <laughs> But I feel bad because I think I've been very negative about most of the teas this week. And I knew, I don't know why I didn't think about this <laughs> when I was buying the calendar. I knew that I don't really like a lot of tea blends. <laughs> and I, I knew that, but I just didn't really think about that as I was buying the calendar. And that has become very apparent <laughs> this week. Um, so I'm thinking that that's like a good plan going forward. I'm going to read the ingredients. If I feel like I'm not going to like it, I'm just going to save it up because I know lots of people do like it. So that'll be a good, like, I can just give them to people who will actually enjoy it rather than force myself. And then what I did get instead was I put in an order today for two Taiwanese oolong teas and also a refill of my favorite black tea at the moment, which is hot. Hot? No, that's not it. Honey Black, which is a black tea also from Taiwan, um, which has a really strong, like, dark honey flavor. Um, not as, like, an added flavor, but, like, it's, the, like, the scent. So it's a very much the scent of honey rather than, like, like they've added honey to it and so it smells really delicious but it's still very like black tea forward which is what I really like is to be able to like taste the um like nuances I suppose in the actual tea leaves rather than tasting like additives and often I find like David's tea tea blends don't always complement the actual tea but is instead like more about the the like how fancy and how interesting can they get with the tea blends and like I kind of prefer like you know blends that are enhance or highlight the natural flavor of the tea leaves so like you know a, a light extra fruit scent or floral scent is fine for me but the addition of like chocolate or um I think stevia is maybe part of the problem is that they have sweetened most of the tea blends I've had so far with stevia so it has a really strange aftertaste or foretaste I don't know like where it tastes just like it it feels thicker than just tea like there's like a syrupy quality to it so I think that's my problem with this calendar. I'm still going to, the ones where I don't feel like it's too out there, I still will attempt to try it and maybe it'll change my mind and broaden my horizons. But I think um, I'm still ultimately a very traditional tea fan, especially 
as a Taiwanese person myself, I have to, of course, um, you know, rep the brand and um, drink the, you know, the home, the home, the hometown uh, oolong teas. So I think that'll be it for this week. I feel like I'm not really in the Christmas spirit just yet. I am definitely looking forward to Christmas, but this year will obviously be very different. I'm not planning on going to see my family and, you know, it's not really a good time to see other people. So it's going to be probably by myself. So what I've done is I've placed a order um, for like a, some pretty yummy sounding like Christmas dinner. So like that good food box that I used earlier this week, they have some um, options to get ingredients for all you need to make like a Christmas roast. So I got like a, a, um, I put in an order for the, for like a beef tenderloin roast with some roasted veggies as well. And then also, you know, Christmas always is associated with brunch for me for like I always feel like you know you do one big dinner and then you do kind of a brunch so I also got um a like a meal kit for a Dutch baby breakfast plate type thing and then also you know finger foods is really associated to Christmas for me and so I got one that's a um, baked brie with honey and some other and some bread and all of that and then also since I've moved to Quebec and I'm a pretend Quebecer sugar pies is a big Christmas thing so I also got myself a sugar pie so I think Christmas is gonna have a very exciting culinary ven menu if not a lot of um, people meeting family joyous occasion type things it is what it is. Um, there's always next year, and my my mother says she's gonna come and see me as soon as the vaccine is available. So we'll see how soon that is. But um, at the moment, I am still not. I kind of go in and out. Like once in a while, I feel like I am going insane by myself. But recently, because of my new job, I have to be in meetings like quite often in a day and I talk to people a lot so it's almost starting to replace that like social interaction need for me even though yes we're not really seeing people in person I'm um uh, because it's such a increase in terms of meeting and talking to people compared to my job for the previous couple of months um it's like I'm starting to feel like a little bit tired of social interactions like I used to be when I go into the office every day. So that has a positive result, which is that I'm not feeling as lonely. So that's always good. Uh, anyway, I feel like I'm talking way too much, so I'm just going to sign off for this week. I hope you enjoyed following me along with my crafting adventures, a little bit of cooking, all of my <laughs> lack of enthusiasm for <laughs> my tea oven calendar, and I will see you next week. Bye!